Polished floors of all kinds have excellent slip resistance when they are clean and dry because our shoe sole makes maximum contact with the floor. And that's why we see polished floors on basketball courts, for instance. But you don't want to get polished floors wet because they become incredibly slippery when contaminated with water or other contaminants. It's very easy to hydroplane on top of water on polished floors. Here we see a polished concrete that is very slip resistant to my hand when dry and very slippery when wet. Here I am on a polished concrete in a supermarket and we can see that the floor is very slip resistant to my hand on the dry portion of the floor and incredibly slippery when the water has been placed. My shoes also find the dry floor very slip resistant and the wet part of the floor incredibly slippery. The Pendulum Slip Resistance Tester is the world's most reliable and trusted slip resistance test device and it says this floor has a dynamic coefficient of friction, or DCOF, of 0.06 when wet, which means it's very slippery. And it's over 1.00 when dry, which means we get excellent grip on this clean and dry polished concrete. The Slip Alert Tribometer has been shown to have excellent correlation with the Pendulum device and it shows this polished tile floor is very slip resistant when dry, but very, very slippery when wet. Some American made tribometers are useful in comparing surfaces and monitoring changes in slip resistance over time, but they should never be used to assess the real world slip resistance of floors because they suffer from issues such as stiction, where the rubber slider sticks to the floor and gives us false and highly misleading readings on some flooring surfaces. Here we see the BOT 3000E saying that a highly polished concrete floor is not slippery at all, with a reported average DCOF of 0.57. And here is a polished marble lobby in a high-end hotel that is very slippery when wet according to everyone there on site, but the BOT 3000E says it's not slippery at all. These readings do not mean polished floors aren't slippery when wet. They just mean that we cannot trust this device for assessing the real world slip resistance of floors. Don't be fooled by American made floor slip resistance test instruments that suffer from stiction, such as ASTM C1028, the ASM 825A, and the BOT 3000E. Instead, use reliable test devices to assess floor slip resistance such as the pendulum tester used in ASTM E303 or the slip alert tribometer, both available from Safety Direct America. Slip and fall accidents can be avoided on your property if you know the truth and you can't fix a problem you don't know you have. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.